Well, we want now to tell you that in addition to the battle between Tito Santana and Nick Buckwinkle next Friday night in a tremendous supporting match, you know that G Gino Hernandez and Tully Blanchard are going to be facing Mil Mascaris. And we have just shown you why. We have shown you why this battle with the two brothers, the two masked brothers facing Gino and Tully has come about. We want to remind you one more time that this poster for Tito. You're so sick and you're stupid. Tito Santana. Who cares who Tito Santana? We should have won the $50,000, but that's, we're not going to crawl over spill. I've never seen a Gino poster around here. We don't care about posters. Gino. Lots of Tully posters. Yeah, Paul you Bosch. stayed up you all night read? making them. There surely ain't no Paul Bosch posters, and I ain't seen no Mill Moskowitz posters because Mill Moskowitz, here's your brother's mask, and come Friday night, the two of you are going to show your face to the whole city of Houston, Texas, because not one, but both of you, by the dynamic duo, the mask, are coming off. I tell you what, Paul Bosch, when Gino Hernandez and Tully Blanchard step in to Sam Houston Coliseum next Friday night with our $3,000 electric robes. Nobody in the world's got electric robes except the dynamic duo. You know, Mascaris has got the pretty mask, and he's got little hats for his little brother, and he wears girdles, and look at this. This thing looks like it's made out of plate. Pantyhose or some little stretchy stuff right there. I know you want Well, are they your pantyhose that they took? Paul Bosch. I'm talking to the people of Houston, Texas. I'm not talking to you. Gino and I are trying to voice our opinion to all our fans in television land out there that want to watch us strut and do our stuff. You know, the prettiest robes, the prettiest wrestlers, the richest, the most famous, the toughest, the ex-world's tag team champions. What can you say about ourselves that hadn't already been said? Too often. Words cannot express it, Paul Bosch, but like I said, this Tito Santana may have stole $50,000 from us, but I tell you what, we're going to get something when we walk out of the ring with not one mask, but two of them. The brothers will see their, their faces will be shown come Friday night. So there you have gorgeous Gino and Tully Blanchard. So this tag team event, the brothers, Dos Caras and Middle Mascaris, one of Mexico's finest tag team combinations, but uh, let's just say that it's one of the finest tag team combinations that Mexico has given birth to and given to the world because they are ranked with wrestlers all over the world as being one of the finest of teams. But their opposition just came into the ring in their magnificent um, electric robes gorgeous Gino and Tully Blanchard. And there are the two who form the dynamic duo. And um, as they carry on an argument with the referees, they are trying, of course, as they always do, to throw up a smoke screen, whether it's in the ring or out of the ring for the purpose of getting an opportunity to steal a march on someone. In the ring right now, Dos Caras and gorgeous Gino. And as Gino backs away, the, he decides that outside the ring is a lot better than inside. And you can see the agility with which Gino avoids punishment. He wants things to start in his fashion. And as Dos Caras bounces across that ring, he eyes, he, he, he was eyeing Tully, trying to get Tully either in the ring or out. So, so as Gino looks around him, he suddenly finds that he is backed almost into Mil Mascaris and get out of the way fast. A touching scene as Tully Blanchard and Gorgeous Gino exchange viewpoints. Dos Caras stays in. On the outside, Middle Mascaris is anxious to move in. Here is a quick move by 
Dos Caras, and he caught Gino and upset him no end. Gino was not expecting that particular maneuver and was de de defending against the possibility of having Dos Caras bounce in on him. Whatever he was defending against. And Gino knows the habit that Dos Caras has of diving through those ropes and hitting his opponent, even though his opponent is on the outside of the ring. So Gino backs up in the corner. He's trying to tempt Dos Caras into maneuvering. And with Tully on the outside, Gino is hoping, well, there they are, they have trapped uh, Dos Caras into a situation, and it could be a bad one. And there is a bad one. Flash comes and down goes Tully, and well, there is a touching scene. Apology accepted, I presume so, since uh, Gino's getting back in the ring. He came in there and hit Tully so hard he hurt his shoulder. I imagine he could demand reparations for that. The sparring, the maneuvering, and driving head first tackle and a good one as Gorgeous Gino maneuvers out of that ring, and I'll tell you, he has done more <coughs> going in and out of the ring in the time that he has been in this match than he has in a, in a half a dozen matches. They don't know what to make of Dos Caras. Dos Caras is bouncing around that ring and coming up with the sort of exciting maneuvers that has this crowd rooting for him, and they are screaming in favor of uh, dos, dos Caras, and here comes Mil Mascaris as Tully Blanchard is touched to, to come in. Mil Mascaris, one of the world's foremost masked wrestlers, of course, and a man whose pride is evident in everything he does in that ring, in his bearing and in his movements. And the Leg scissor and Bill Mascaris comes up with a double toe hold as he stands over Tully Blanchard. The pressure on the on the leg on the top part of the of the foot, and now as he turns him over, he's trying to keep him Five occupied. Minutes. He's got him tied up in both directions, and the. Um, Man on top is the mask man as Tully Blanchard now fights from underneath and tries to roll out of the way. No Mascaris shoulders are close and he is likely to be, he get pinned in this particular position as he applies this grip on, on Tully Blanchard, but Gorgeous Gino on the outside of the ring here is arguing about something going on. I don't know exactly what is going on, but the, the noise here is tremendous. We can't hear his complaints, but up in the ring, Tully Blanchard is close to being pinned. The pressure is on the hands. He twists them, he turns them. And again, he mixes one end with the other and spins him around in the variety of holes that Middle Mascaris can turn loose with. So in comes 
Mil G gorgeous Gino, he faces Mil Mascaris and Mascaris moves in there with that confident approach of his that has always characterized his wrestling here. Tully down on the apron looks a little bit relieved to be on the outside where he can draw a few breaths without having Mil Mascaris trying to squeeze them out of him. Mill again goes for the far arm and he comes up with it. Surfboard hold as Mill now emphasizes the hold, strengthens the hold by putting that foot up where he can get plenty of pressure. And Gino is still gorgeous, but he's in trouble. And as Tully Blanchard was trying to get up on that rope and to help Gino, Dos Caras shook that rope. You saw it shaking. And Blanchard was knocked off that uh, rope and into the ring. Now he's got all four men and a swinging, driving crash. And both Tully and Gino are down. And the Mexican strategy has worked and worked for sure. We've got noisemakers and we've got screaming fans and we've got tom-toms and all sorts of things letting loose here. Double drop kick, Gino's the man down and Dos Caras goes for a crotch hold, a lift and a hard slam. He's looking to, whoop, you got to hit your target if you're going to do any good. In this particular case, he didn't quite make it. And Gino rolled out and down on the, on the, on the floor. Front headlock. The twist on the, on the head. The, could be a strangle, but the referees have not yet declared it a strangle. There's a nice rolling escape by Dos Caras and oh! how he slammed Tully into that um, canvas. Quick exchange by Dos Caras, and he was ready for action that time. He got those feet out there, and there was a quick stop by Dos Caras, and I have never seen Dos Caras in better form than he is tonight. And in the ring is Mil Mascaris. He comes up with the atomic drop and sends Tully Blanchard spinning forward on his face by dropping him on his seat. There's a bridge as he waist locked him and rocked him back. And in this Greco-Roman hold, he was close to pinning Tully Blanchard. He settles on an arm bar and applies it well. Now the referees in close, hollering to Tully, telling him he can submit if he wants to. Ten minutes have gone by, Gino on the outside watching closely and trying to give Tully a signal to coordinate something. And as Gino puts his leg through the ropes, the... the move by Mil Mascaris is a, a reverse double, a reverse full Nelson, and Gino came close to touching him. Now Gino is not there, he hasn't been able to touch, and Bill got him out of the way just in time, and now you see that rope shaking. That's Dos Caras shaking the rope and trying to prevent Gino from reaching over it and, and getting a little bit further into the ring. Caught him beautifully with that driving uh, head of his. And here's a touch for Dos Caras, who comes bouncing into the ring and maneuvering back body drop. He threw those legs out there nicely, and there's one, there's two. That was close, that was close. That hand just barely stopped on the way down, and Dos Caras massages the 
head of, of, of Tully Blanchard, who was having his troubles. There are both of them. And Bill Moscaris belongs in the ring. He stays in the ring. And up on the top turnbuckle is Dolgaris. He dives off that rope. He hits him. There's a count. And it's three. And Dos Caras. The winners of the first ball, 11 minutes, 48 seconds. Neil Moscaris and Dos Caras. Dos Caras has never, minutes. never looked better than he does at this. In this match, he has been the spark plug. He has been tossing out there with everything he's got. He has really been great. We tell you this, we'll be back here in a moment, right after we have this word from the studio. And Dos Caras chasing Gino around the ring. The time is about to run out. And now they have caught Gino and pulled him out of the ring over here on our side of the ring. And Gino now has met the ring post formally and head on. So, Tully Blanchard steps into all of the act uh, action. He was the man who was down, and he stayed down and let Gino do all of the racing around the ring. And in the process, he got a rest. So, with Dos Caras in, in comes Gino. Now they both go to work on Dos Caras. Hot exchange on both sides as Gino moves in. Now Tully moves out. Coming at you. And oh, Gino comes up with those big legs of his, and he's he's got a lot of weight in his legs, and he drove the drop kick into Dos Caras. The touch. Mil Moscaris comes in. And again, it's Bill Moscaris doing that pepper uh, punching and Trying to soften up Tully Blanchard. He's he's got Tully Blanchard now. Where Tully? Oops! I said Tully may have to quit, but um, Mill just caught one on the on the on the ear that time, and he is now in about as bad shape as Tully. So Tully touched Gino, and all that work that. Gino turned in. Now it is uh, legal. He turns his wrath on Middle Moscaris, but you can see what has been turned on uh, on Mill to hold him in that corner so that they can go to work on him. The driving elbow of the gorgeous one as he bounces in there against Mill Moscaris and Mill now has taken the most punishment he has received tonight. Mill trying to touch with Dos Caras, almost made it across the ring. And Tully Blanchard sits astride him, wraps those arms around his head, puts the pressure up, drags him into a tight position. And the Mill is getting up to his feet, carrying Tully along with him. And Mill is slowly but surely getting across the ring there. And now the referees push Gino out of the way, and in comes Dos Caras. And Dos Caras touched, but he is being pushed out. The referees were trying to contain Gino Hernandez. And now as uh, Gino comes over to take Tully's place, there was no touch. And Gino may get away with it. He may get away with it, except that Dos Caras has come in and the crowd tells him to let, let him have it. Quick switch here. Both of them. Two illegal switches. Reverse chin lock for Tully Blanchard. As Tully Blanchard now hangs on to the masked head of Middle Moscaris and puts the squeeze on them. Match that has been in and out of the ring, in and out of the ring, and now is being settled in the ring. Blanchard hanging on to the head of Middle Moscaris. 
He's, and Tully Blanchett is working on the mask of Mil Mascaris, trying to rip it off. He is trying to undo the laces, and in comes Dos Caras. A driving attack now by Dos Caras. So, Dos Caras trying to set Mil Mascaris up. You set him up, but you gotta hit him. And on top is Tully Blanchard. There's one, there's two, there is three, and Tully Blanchard takes the fall on Dos Caras. And that means falls, falls are even. And there will be a one minute rest period. And we'll be back here in a moment at the end of that rest period. But first, we have this word from the studio. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. And as. Five. Took it down to the right. Milman. Dos Carlos is trying to rise to his feet. Tully Blanchard maneuvers across to him and. They lay one into the midsection of Dos Caras, Mil Mascaris on the outside of the ring here, still trying to recover from the effects of the second fall. Falls are even. This is the third and the deciding fall as they go after the mask of Dos Caras and the gorgeous Gino attacks. There's the touch. And in comes Tully Blanchard. He goes after the same point of attention that gorgeous Gino was paying attention to and the they are after the mask of Dos Caras. They want to rip it off and as uh, Mil Mascaris comes up on the on the apron they, they've got the mask partly up over the uh, chin of the um, masked man and as, the, as they pull him they are trying their best to Slip that thing up all the way. Bill Mascaris watching for the opportunity to come in the ring. And the driving head of Tully Blanchard knocks Dos Caras down. And Dos Caras first tries to tighten up on that mask. And in comes Gino Hernandez to try to pull the mask loose. And he's got enough of it loose that he's going to make trouble for Dos Caras, who is determined to not let him have it. And as the exchange uh, keeps keeps on, the his bill. And Mill goes after Gorgeous Gino to put a stop to his efforts to unmask his brother. Gino's in legally. He's on top. We could have a fall. There's one. And here is Mill Mascaris to put an end to that particular count. Gino comes in with a front headlock. And now a drive off that top rope and he caught him right in the small of the back. There was no touch, but they were close to, to making it. So Bill Mascaris is counted outside that ring. Tully Blanchard maneuvers in there to try to push uh, in against the head and to hang on to that mask and try to maneuver him out of it. And this time, Mil Mascaris found what he was looking for. He had no mask to grab, but he grabbed Tully Blanchard by the hair, and we've got the pair of them on the outside of the ring. <clears throat> and a brand new war starts out on the floor. There is a chair coming into use, and Tully is on the floor. And gorgeous Gino gets caught with a drop kick and oh, Dos Caras over the ropes and through the air and down onto the onto the floor. The battle going on both sides of the ring on opposite corners. And on the floor they are crashing into each other and the bell is sounded. And the, the count has, has begun. And Mill Mascaris comes seconds. around here behind Gino. Gino's got a chair, but before they move, we've got not one, not, we've got two, we've got three. 
chairs up in the ring and G Gino has one of them. He's using it for defensive purposes and he decides that outside the ring is better than inside. The both men, both teams have been counted out as they battle on the floor and this match winds up in a wild, wild outside the ring draw. And they were outside that ring time and time and time again tonight. We'll be back here in a moment after we have this word from the studio.